Hello, welcome to Literary Life and welcome to today's video, which is a book review of Someday Maybe. The way my book reviews work, I'll give you a quick overview of the story while letting you know my impressions, thoughts, reactions. This is a spoiler-free review. If you are interested in purchasing a copy of the book, I do have links below. Um, I will also be putting this book up on my resale shop at Pango Books, so I will have a link to that below as well. Let's get rolling, guys, because wow, this book. Um, so our author of this book herself is Nigerian, born in Nigeria, raised in Britain. And her main character, Eve, the woman we're going to follow in this story, is of that heritage. So from Nigeria, um, I don't recall what age the character moved to Britain, but really has grown up in Britain. And this is going to be important because race is going to be pulled through this book. Now, we see just from the book description, we know that this is a woman who has been married to her husband for, I think, going on 10 years when she loses her husband to suicide. And we know that based on the description of the book, that she is the one to find him. So I want to highlight that, guys. That is a huge trauma and trigger warning. So for certain people right there, this book may simply be too much, too personal to read. Let me tell you, not having had a similar experience, thankfully in my own life, I still found this book incredibly gut-wrenching and hard to read. The author does an amazing job um, on so many of the components that go along with an experience like this. So the book is going to begin with that loss, and it is going to immediately bring, into, bring us into that time period of the immediate aftermath that goes on for the character, um, Eve. So Eve is going to be surrounded by loved ones, family, and friends who are going to step into support her and help her through this um, horrific time. We're going to get Eve's point of view while all of this is going on, and we're going to see how she is struggling to cope with the loss of her husband, his decision to end his own life, um, her, her grief, her anger, her confusion. Everything is so incredibly well-developed. And how this impacts her. You know, I, I think the author, as I'm reading this, I found myself so caught up in the fact that not everyone is going to respond to this event, right, in the same way. We all cope with these things in our own unique ways, but you could see how her struggling, how it impacts the relationship she has around her with her family who are stepping in to try to help her and with her friends and with her colleagues you can see how at this point when the rage is surfacing up and the grief is so raw, you're going to act in times that will put strain on these support networks. And it made complete sense as I was reading this. I kept saying to myself, this author is doing such a great job of capturing the fact that this is a difficult period on every level for everyone. And there is a lot of complexity here. And so what I thought was just such um, a, a, a deep and well thought out part to the plot is the way in which the main character herself is not doing well. She says in the description, no, I'm not okay. And that is very much what this book is about, is the breakdown that can go along with a moment um, of loss like this and what that could look like and how that impacts your life, your relationships. And then how you can potentially begin to recover and heal um, as best as you can, if you even can call it that. There, I was just absolutely blown away. If it is not apparent, by the way, I've been describing the book so far. This was a five-star read for me. So my rating system, I give a book one star if I didn't like it. Two stars, meh, if it's okay. Three stars, it's a good book. Four stars, great book. I loved it. I really try to hold now my five-star reviews for those books that really just blow my mind, and I want everyone to read them. And this book definitely fell in there for me, um, not just because of the heaviness of the subject matter. I mean, those, ten, those books tend to bring a lot of their own weight to your reading experience, but the way the author really dove into that and played out 
um, the way in which the main character struggled with all kinds of feelings that made sense um, in, after having lost her husband with, without any explanation um, to give her comfort, to give her, to address any of her, um, her questions, you know, leaving her in a very powerless state. The other thing that I thought was done incredibly well in this book is the dynamic between our main character and her mother-in-law. And this is where race is going to come in. So as I noted before, our main character from Nigeria grows up very, you know, I would say well-to-do. Her parents are highly educated. I think her mom was an endocrinologist doing a lot of research. Her dad, I think, is also a physician, maybe a surgeon. Um, so both of them very specialized, very successful, and well-educated um, people. That is our main character's background. Well, her husband comes from a white, very affluent family in Britain, one of the, like, top families from, I guess, a socioeconomic um, and socio, <laughs> uh, like social status is what I'm trying to get on. So very wealthy, very well-known family. So her mother-in-law is not a fan of her. And we're going to see what is it like when you have a death of this nature occur and you have an in-law, daughter-in-law relationship that is very strained, that has a very poor history, as well as how it played out in their marriage. Some of the, this is me drawing a triangle, okay? <laughs> you know, the triangulation that would go on. Because there will be memories, points in the book where we get flashbacks. And we're never going to get his perspective, but we'll get flashbacks to their relationship, the history, and how things unfolded with her mother-in-law when he was, her husband was still alive. So we'll start to see some of those marital dynamics that were occurring and then what it was like with this mother-in-law. And I thought that was another part that made this book incredibly deep and rich. And I would imagine relatable for a lot of people that may be experiencing similar dynamics like that. So I thought that was also a part to the book that brought a lot of value um, for the reader. And overall, I, when I put down this book, I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt, I will never forget this book. It will stick with me forever. I feel enriched by having read it. Not in a way you would ever say, oh, I would really want an in-depth exploration of what it must be like to suddenly lose your loved one to suicide. Like, who really wants that, right? That kind of pain and angst. But this is such a safe way to explore that. And it is so well done that I would say for people that are looking to, I really, I really do like to read about points of human suffering points of loss, points of grief. This book goes there in a way that I think is, like I said, very insightful, very valuable. I would definitely put this one on your list. Um, so again, topics covered, you know, loss, grief, mental health, suicide, but we're also going to get to explore some of those racial, socioeconomic status dynamics that can exist between people and how that can impact somebody um, and feeling devalued. And then we are also going to see, like I said, the marital dynamics playing around with like having a triangle in-law, kind of triangulated in-law situation and what that can be like. A lot in a not very thick book. I feel like it could have been the size of the next book I'm about to review, <laughs> which you can see in the other video. Five-star read, guys. Love it, love it. Highly recommend it. For those of you out there that may have read it, let me know below how you felt um, after you put this book down and if you were impacted by it as much as I was. This is one, you know, like when I say five stars, I want everyone to read it, but I recognize that given the subject matter, this book is not right for you. Um, don't, it, definitely, I recommend this one highly, but it, I want to say it's just it's going to be a rough read. Um, so definitely don't don't go there if you're concerned you're on the fence about this may hit a little bit too close to home. Um, but this yeah, this one is it is powerful, guys. Loved. Absolutely love this book. Never going to forget it. OK, that is it for today's book review. As always, thank you for watching. 
Now let's go read some more books. Happy reading.